These are the arguments in favour of this legislation. I just want to put a little stress on a number of issues. Uh, first of all, as uh, was already mentioned, um, we want people to have access to affordable mobility that is clean. And for that, you need to bring electric mobility, especially for passenger cars, up to scale as quickly as possible. So you have to be very, very clear about the choices you made. And by the way, um, I think um, the European car industry has made that choice very clearly already. And, and they, they, went, they went a long way in the last three, four years in understanding where the global car industry is heading. And uh, um, yes, the running costs of electric vehicles are already lower than of combustion engine cars, and within years, also buying an electric vehicle will be cheaper than buying a combustion engine car, and then uh, you will help uh, consumers make that choice much easier. So I think that is a very important argument in favour of this uh, legislation. The second argument, which I want to pay little attention to because sometimes it's overlooked, Look at what our competitors are doing globally. Um, we are very proud of the fact that the European car industry is the best and the most innovative uh, in the world. Uh, but we have to be very careful that we keep that advantage and that we keep producing cars that can match or even overtake what is produced elsewhere. And just let me remind you that between last year and the end of this year, China will bring 80, 80 models of electric cars to the international market. These are good cars. Uh, these are cars that will be affordable uh, more and more. And we need to compete with that. We don't want to give up this essential industry to outsiders. And if we want to do that, we have to invest in transforming the European car industry in making these EVs, electric vehicles, for worldwide consumption. For that, also, we need to enhance our efforts to build the charging infrastructure everywhere and this is something the Commission is committed to and I know this is important to the European Parliament as well. And finally, and finally the most important part, we need to skill and reskill our workforce to have a sustainable job in the car industry of the future. We don't need less people, we need people with other skills. And I, I need to insist on this because the Industrial Revolution is happening, whether we like it or not. We can choose to lead it. We can choose to do it in a way that is socially compatible with our values. Or we can leave it to other parts of the world to lead it. And then all we can do is follow and deindustrialize. We need to rebuild our industry on the basis of the future. And the car industry can lead this if you vote for this proposal today. Thank you very much. Thank you.